An equation like this is complicated by the parentheses. We have an x term on both sides of the equation. So really what we need to do is to simplify it, eventually get all the x's on one side of the equation or the other, and get the numbers on the other side. So let's dig into it. As a first step, I'm going to distribute, and I get 4 times x is equal to 4x plus 4 times 7, which is 28. So 4x plus 28 minus 2 equals 2 minus 8x. The 28 and the minus 2, of course, I can simplify right away. And that's going to be a plus 26. Um, so 4x plus 26 is equal to 2 minus 8x. I now I need to get all my variables on one side of the equation. So what I can do is if I add 8x here, that's going to cancel out the 8x on the right side of my equation. Similarly, adding 8x over here to my 4x is going to leave me with 12x. So let's add all this together and clean it up. Uh, 4x plus 8x is equal to 12x. So I have 12x plus 26 is equal to 2 because the 8x's cancel over here. Now I have basically a two-step equation. I can subtract 26 on both sides, which gives me 12x equals negative 24. And finally, to get x alone, I can divide both sides by 12. 12 goes into 24 twice, so into negative 24 would be negative 2 times, and x, therefore, is negative 2. Now to check this, I'm going to plug the negative 2 into my original equation, which I've done over here, and I want to see if this is equal on each side. So let's take a look. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5, so this becomes 4 times 5 minus 2, which is 20 minus 2, or 18. On the other side of the equation, I have 2 minus 8 times negative 2. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16, and if I subtract negative 16, that's the same as adding 18. So this is, I'm sorry, 2 plus 16, which is 18. Minus negative 16 is equal to plus 16. 2 plus 16 is equal to 18. So the whole thing does check out. Um, again, this was a, a process of simplifying, first by doing the distributive property. Uh, down here, I got all my x's on one side. And finally, I uh, solved for the x. I got the x alone, and it came out to the negative 2. Thank you.